When using Linux Mint, it's a good idea to know where to find all of your applications and files. Most of your applications will live in the menu, which can be found in the bottom left-hand corner with the little Linux Mint icon. When you left-click on this icon, it'll open up your menu. Here you can find your favorite programs, different categories that programs will fall into, like internet programs, administration, or even preferences. And finally, you'll find the list of all the different programs that are installed on your computer. If you hover over one of the categories, it'll only show you applications that fall within that category. For example, if I go to the Office category, I will only find programs that are akin to the Microsoft Office Suite. You'll find things like LibreOffice Writer, LibreOffice Calc, or LibreOffice Impress. If you hover over the All Applications category, you'll find the list of every single application that is installed in your computer. You can also search for an application with the search bar up at the top. Simply click in the box and begin typing what you think the application is called. After only a few letters, you should see a few narrowed options that might fit into what you're searching for. You can right click on an application to make it easier to access either by adding it to the panel, to the desktop, or to your favorites column. You can also uninstall the program by clicking the uninstall button. If you're looking for a file like a presentation or a picture, you'll need to check out your home directory. To get to your home directory, go to the home folder up in the top left corner of your screen. Double click on the folder to open the home directory. Here you'll find a variety of folders, each containing different files depending on where you save them. You can double click on one of these folders to check out the files that are within that folder. For example, if I double click on the documents folder, we'll see that I have my folder for backups, as well as a letter that I wrote to be printed out and mailed later. On the left side of this window, called the File Explorer, I have quick access to commonly used folders, like pictures, videos, or downloads. If I'm in my home directory, I can also search for files by using the search menu. Simply type in the name of the file that you're searching for. Linux Mint will automatically begin searching your home directory for any files that match that name. Here you can open the file just as you would any other file in its containing folder. I can close the search menu by clicking on the search icon again. I can change how my directories are displayed by clicking on one of the three view icons. List view. Compact view. And the default is usually set to icon view. The other time that you might need to navigate the file system is when you are saving a document. If I wanted to save this letter, I would go up to file, Save as, and here I'll find an abbreviated version of the file explorer. You'll notice that the documents folder is automatically selected because I'm saving a LibreOffice Writer document. If I wanted to save this to a different location, I can click on the desktop, downloads, pictures, music, or any other location that would help me remember where this file is in the future. I'm going to save this to my desktop. Now, I can click on the name, highlight it, and title it whatever I want. Then I can click the Save button. And since I saved it to my desktop, if I close this window, I should be able to find it right here on my desktop. If I want to move this file, I can click and drag it to my home directory, but unlike most operating systems, this will instead copy the file instead of just moving it. 
If I open my home directory, we'll see that I now have two copies of this letter 2.0 file. I can again try moving it to my documents folder, and you'll notice that it disappears. This means that it did in fact move the file instead of just copying it. If you want to get rid of the original copy, since you have now saved it in your documents folder, you can select the file by clicking on it once and pressing the delete key, or you can right click on it to open the right click menu. Here you'll find a variety of options including renaming the file, copying the file, opening the file, or deleting it. If you click the delete button, it won't go to your trash, it will instead be removed permanently. So make sure that you're extra sure that you want to delete a file instead of just moving it to the trash. That's it for using the Linux Mint file system. If you want to learn more things like how to use the panel or how to change your desktop background, feel free to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.